For Windows 10 officially ends next week, meaning no more security updates or bug fixes. Wayne 15's Mia Pettigrew explains what options users still have if their computers can't handle Windows 11. Dark Taylor, it's been nearly 10 years since Windows 10 launched, and for many, it's still the system they rely on every day. But after next Tuesday, continuing, continuing to use it could quietly make your computer more vulnerable than ever. Starting October 14th, Microsoft will stop sending out updates for Windows 10, officially marking the end of its life cycle. That means no more protection against new viruses, hackers, or online scams. Local IT professional Jeff Yates with Reboot Technology and Consulting says he's still seeing plenty of businesses and families using Windows, often because their older hardware can't run Windows 11. That's where he says systems like Linux come in. It's a free, open-source operating system that can breathe new life into older computers while still offering security updates. There are so many businesses that are moving away from Windows 10. There's hardware that's capable but can't go to Windows 11, and much of that could be picked up for free and used. But I would use a Linux distribution, something other than Windows 10, on that hardware for security. For a few days, for a few months, it may not be a big problem, but over time, uh, those vulnerabilities will be exploited and uh, it could be a big security risk for your personal and financial information. He also says this is a good reminder for everyone to back up files regularly, especially photos, tax records, and other personal data that could be lost or stolen in a breach. And if you're not sure what version you're using, Yates says just search about this PC in your start menu. And if it says Windows 10, take action before October 14th. Mia Pettigrew, Way 15 News.